So something I have not done with the STG is create a zero recoil build. I've done a versatility and a movement so far here in season five, but honestly, some of my most popular builds I put on the channel are always the one with the least amount of recoil, and it makes sense. They're extremely easy to use. So in this particular case with the STG, I would claim it's an absolute meta when you have zero recoil. It's a very good long and medium range option. However, you do have to keep in mind that when you have zero recoil, other categories like handling and movement are gonna be a bit slower. So for my first attachment here, you're gonna want the Jack Glassless Optic. That's gonna give you fire aiming stability. On top of that, it's just a pretty good looking sight overall. As always, the Optic is going to be a preference and you can use whatever you want here. For a stock, you're gonna want the DR79 Combo Stock for a large amount of gun kick control, recoil control, and fire aiming stability. This is one of two attachments that really controls the majority of the recoil so this is going to give you a massive 21 percent to gun kick along with 11 percent to horizontal and vertical recoil control like i stated in the intro there it is going to slow down your handling or mobility when you use attachments like this one over here to an ammunition type i am using the high grain rounds i didn't want to run a barrel because a lot of the barrels that you run in this game or i'm sorry on this weapon tend to slow down your mobility even further than I feel is necessary. So the high grain rounds is going to increase your damage range and bullet velocity without the sacrifice of mobility. So that's going to be a 15% increase, bringing your damage range up to 51.1 meters. Absolutely awesome there. And then our bullet velocity is over 1,100 meters per second. For the underbell here, I do have the Bruin Heavy Support Grip that's going to Control gun kick, horizontal recoil, control and fire aiming stability. Obviously one of a few attachments that's used here to control recoil. I like this one in particular because it does control a lot of the visual shake on the weapon while also giving you 10% to gun kick and 8% to horizontal recoil control. And the final attachment is the quartermaster suppressor. Obviously at this point, it's a broken record and you should suspect it to be on 90% of the builds I put on the channel. It controls a ridiculous amount of recoil while only having small sacrifices towards your handling here. It's a massive 10% to gun kick, 23% to horizontal recoil control, and 10% to vertical recoil control. So here's all the attachments on the screen if you guys needed to pause to copy this down. Obviously, as you saw in the firing range and what you're about to see in the gameplay, this thing basically doesn't move and it's extremely easy to hit your shots. Obviously, that's the whole premise of the entire build. And I think in the gameplay, you're really going to visualize it. You get to see me shoot across the map and kill extremely quickly. As always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy this down as well, make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me. As always, let's jump into today's gameplay. You get to see what my no recoil STG can do. Hope you enjoy. So I've taken two approaches to the STG so far. The first one was a versatility build where it's good at a little bit of everything. The second one I put out was a movement build because that one was super fun, but I have not targeted a zero recoil build. So this is kind of, I mean, you just witnessed it. This is kind of the perfect map for it because you can see all the long range fights. And while the lack of recoil, the problem is not the best close range option. It slows down on things like sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, mobility. But at the same token, it's got the luxury of having virtually no recoil, meaning you can shoot across the map with ease at that. The only thing is you just got to plan your gunfights properly. Have your gun up if you plan on getting into a close range engagement. I know when it comes to no recoil builds, they're some of my most popular because everybody likes an easy weapon. I don't know if he's going to peek back up. He's right there, but I, eh, I'm not going to bother. I'll let teammates handle that. I'm going to watch my back. Okay, Philly. I did not even mean to go into attack stance there, which was, was kind of weird, actually. I don't wasn't trying for that. Normally, you know, I slide cancel with ease, you know what I mean? This Philly guy is going to be a sweat, I got a feeling, which is okay. I'm okay with a little sweating. You just got to be prepared that I'm going to sweat back. I think I'm going to head this way. They should be back here, but I'm going to need a teammate assistant in order to flip the spawns because they will continuously spawn here on me. Like I said, they will continuously spawn here on me, so. I gotta run. Oh, dude, where did you come from? What, he's, he was trying to humiliate me, I think. All right, VTOL's in. Like I said, if this Philly guy wanted to sweat, 
should be prepared to get some in return. Makes me one kill here off of advance. We're going to hit that in just a second. I would like to get as much of this out of this as I can. They're right there. There's nothing I can do about it. It's good shots out of that Philly guy. Got to turn around. Bam. Yeah, I knew he, that guy's the type that hunts. You know what I mean? Loading fresh mag. Just doing my job. Need recon overhead. Advanced is in. Close game so far. It's a good kill. That's tragic. I think I was like five kills off. I have time. That's one of those gunfights you just don't expect him to be there. You know what I mean? I'm going to go. Well, I got to kill this guy first. I'm kind of stuck here. They want to challenge me. This Philly guy's a, a sweat for sure. He shoots. Yeah, well, you tried, Philly. I'll give you I'll, I'll give you props there. You really tried on me. Puts me one kill off another advanced UAV, so I am like right back in it, you know. I'm going to take a different route here because they're all around the hill. So over here is the best angle for that. He's got a freaking riot shield. I can do something about that guy. UAV. He was right there. I'm going to hit my UAV. I'm kind of out of the mix for right now. Um, I'm just going to play for next. I have no teammates. I got to get this VTOL and kind of call it right in. I think it's going to be my best move. I'm just going to play back. That's all I can do. Okay, so we're on this hill. My best move is going to be to watch this way right now. What's really tragic is I was so close to that nuke the first time. 21. That is the guy I needed to kill, Philly. Vance UAV's just got to come right in. Probably a VTOL as well. Bam, drop it right there. Let them push me. 
Let the gunfight just come to me. There it is. And they, like I said, just let them come to me. Now we push. Try to make this game last a little longer. Let's get to the hill. We're going to need it. I know he's right there, but his head's not actually popping out. There was a guy behind us. I don't know. Oh, it finally got it. it was Philly going for a nice flank. Didn't work. I'll let the, this VTOL just soak up all the kills. I'm okay with that. We're getting some nice, nice objective time here. There's one, there's two. We're not going to shoot. That's what we needed. VTOL it. Where are you guys at? Okay. They should all be in front of us, but I am concerned about them being this way as well. We brought the game back. We've secured the lead. Hard point relocated. My teammate got fried from right here somewhere. I don't see anybody though. I'm with you. Nice try, Philly. Not this time, pal. Nice try, Philly! Not this time, pal. You can jump all you want, but it's not working in your favor. Hold the nuke for me, pal. Ladies and gentlemen, and Philly! That's 92.